Hello! Yes, I'm dressed up nice, so I've got my earrings and nice jewellery and cold bottle of water, excuse me. And it is daylight, which means unboxings! So, full disclosure, if you haven't watched the previous Threads unboxing, I am recording these both together back to back on Thursday. Um, but <clears throat> the Threads box would have been really, um, up, upload, up, uploaded and released on said Thursday and this one I am releasing today, being on Friday. So, hello future me, hope things are going well. Um, otherwise, yeah, so I'll, I could do two unboxings in one day, but I've decided to spread it out a little bit. So I'm not going to change my t-shirt or anything and just put a different thing on. I've just got the camera set up, the boxes are here. I'm just going to record and say, hey, I recorded this yesterday. So, hey past me, hey future me. And we're good, we're good. Oh wait, up. Up here, so past me's down there, and future me's way off there somewhere. I don't know how many future me's there are, but um, yes, so um, ah, oh, my hair catches on my earring a little bit and can be annoying, but I like it. But anyway, <sighs> I talk too much, I waffle, I know I do, so let me just. <sighs> this is Geek Gear or Wizardry. Um, I can't remember what the teaser was. Was it Hogwarts Express? Was it Nine Bus? Was it Owl? There was a teaser. I can't remember what it was. I think it was cool. I think I was excited by it. This is the thing I never remember. Um, this is also the August box. So I think it's the September one. There's um, There was a competition. Yeah, 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 it would have been. There was a competition to design your own wand. I didn't enter it. Um, but I think it's next month that's going to have that wand in the box. So this may or may not have a wand, but next week, next one will definitely have a wand. And I'm looking forward to seeing the winning entries. So well done everyone who's entered. Um, good for you for coming up with ideas in the first place. And I look forward to seeing the winning design. Um, but yes, hello Hannah, it's here. It is here. Um, so yes, thank you for your interest. It has been late and I'm still waiting for another two boxes. Um, so yeah, so I might end up recording um, boxes unboxings tomorrow to go out on Saturday and Sunday. Huh. Well, that's the weekend sorted out. Let us, let us open this box up. It's been sat here for ages. I want to know what's inside. There we go. Let's uh, do the thing. That's a good thing. And pop it safely on the side here. And slide it open. We have the blue paper for Ravenclaw. Ooh. Ooh, there's some interesting things in here. Like there's two wearables. I'll go with this one because I can just see it poking up. Oh, that's so cool! Geek Gear Wizardry enamel pin with the proper Ravenclaw colours. Um, so I'm guessing this is one of the ones that's going to be, um, uh, you know, house specific in its coloration. Um, it says potions, defense, and. Oh, magical creatures and the care of. Um, it's the bottom one here. See if you can read it. I do actually have, if I can find it. Um, ah, things are dropping. Things are clicking. It doesn't help. Huh? What about that's got to do? Ah, oh. I don't know. I have uh, a magnifying glass, which is what I'm looking for. Um, can I read it better off of there? No, because it's backwards. <laughs> but I'm guessing it's a magical creature's care of um, book. So yeah, that's very cute. Little um, stack of books with a health scarf and wand. There we go. That's not a bad size pin. Yes, I don't know where my um. That's gonna bug me now because I want to know where my um my thingy has gone. Alright, then. Ow! Sorry, my ear. Ugh. Hair catching my. Sorry. Just to put it back. Hair cats on my earrings is starting to get really annoying and slightly painful. As I said in the previous video, if you hadn't seen that, my boiler has finally been fixed, which meant I had to wash and dry my hair in a couple of hours where I normally like to let it air dry and it's very fluffy at the moment. Uh, I'll go for this one. So you don't normally get two t-shirts, that's confused me. This is a long sleeve. Magic spells, wizards, witches, wands, potions, trademark org. This is um 
different. It does a lot like quick spells. Because there is in, within the um normal it's a different make as well. Because normally within the um Oh, you know, within the thing there's like they try and relate it somewhat to the books and movies. So I don't know if this is related more to the new Fantastic Beast movie. It's a very cool design. Um, I like the kind of skull thing. It's quite rock and roll. Actually. It's quite metal. So um, it's cool. I like it. It's just very different from previous designs. Um, kind of piratey. It's metal, but it's kind of piratey in a way. Yeah, that's kind of cool. That's different. I like that. Ugh. Um, so let's, what do we have here? Ooh. Alrighty, hold off on that joke. Um, we have, yes, now this, this is very much, very, very much, and I like it. Um, oh, it's the same make. We have the three brothers actually representing the Deathly Hallows. So obviously we have the Elder Wand. We have the Stone of Resurrection, and we have the Invisibility Cloak. And it is done very much in the style that they did the animation in the movie. And um, that's cool. I like that, because that is a cool concept. An idea, and obviously they're on the bridge, defeating death. And not him not being very happy about it. So yeah, um, the three brothers, uh, whose names I can't remember. But, yes, very cool like that one. Alrighty then. <clears throat> Alright, let's do the obvious joke and get it out of the way. These socks are amazing! Um, red and gold, which is usually Gryffindor colours, but maybe it's just the fact that they've only made them in these colours. Um, oh, they're thick ones as well. They're long? I think these are a long sock. Going. Yes, I like this. Um, so it's very much Harry base. You've got Hedwig's cage, you've got prong. Oh, that's his Patronus or prongs or whatever. Uh, his broomsticks, lightning scars, glasses. Um, I'm not sure what that. Um, there's a dark mark. Well, it looks like a dark mark. Uh, is that supposed to be a snitch? I'm confused. There are things here that don't quite make sense to me. I'm going to call it a snitch, but it might not be. Um, but yeah, no, they, look, they look really nice, really comfortable, stretchy. Um, they're exclusive. So those I like. They just um, would have expected something in blue and bronze to be like house specific. But not everything has to be house specific, and I will still wear those because I love socks. Now this! Ooh! Now this is pretty. This is nice. And this is house colours. Allow me, excuse the rattling. Um, okay, so this is it's like official WB merchandise. So, Harry Potter bracelet set. I've said before I don't tend to wear a lot of bracelets, but um, these look pretty. Let's see, we're going to just pop it open after get the um, either bit of tape here bear with doo, 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 doo. so have I asked you before who your favorite characters are or you know what house you're in because you know house representation I'm I'm a proud Ravenclaw but if you're of another house you can feel free to tell me about it oh, there we go there's the tape off <clears throat> um, like I said my friend Adam is a Hufflepuff and proud so he's only seen the films though that's a good thing. Anyone here who's only seen the films or anyone else into the books as well? Um, I've, I've obviously done both. I was reading the books before the films came out. Uh, my friend Malcolm um, put me into them actually. So if you're watching Malcolm, hi! How are you? It's been a while. Right, here we go. So what's the easiest way to do this? So there's a centre thing. It's very nicely presented. So firstly, first we have this knotted friendship band one with these little studs in it. Oh, it's a bit dodgy. And it's got this nice um, tighten up. Yeah, so you tighten up with a little um, pull it either way. So, oh yeah, that all that fits on nicely. I'll uh, adjust that in a minute. <clears throat> uh, nextly we have 
a more simple black one. So we've got uh, Ravenclaw there, and then the double thing. So you've got the uh, eagle there. This one's going to be a little trickier to put on because it's um, catch, and not one that's easy to put on on your own. But again, that will that will fit nicely. So I'm liking the fact that they are designed with older people or larger wrists in mind. Uh, what else we got? Oh, we got a nice silver one. Now this one's fixed, so this one might not go on as easy. But that is very, very smart. I do like that. This is going to be worth a few quid on its own. Mm. Yeah, this one's probably a little trickier because it's not quite... Not quite. This one's definitely for a smaller wrist. Hmm. I'll, um, I'll work something else out to do with that. But it's very nice. And a stretchy, stretchy bead one. Again, with a little uh, Ravenclaw tag and our eagle. So uh, again, that goes. On. Oh, I like that one. Yeah, that one goes on lovely. So yeah, um, the only sort of real problem one is this one is a little tight for me, um, being an adult with big wrists. Um, but I'll still display it, so I'll do something with it. So it kind of, mm, kind of goes there, but yeah, too much. I might just put it around something and, and have it as a display piece. And then obviously, this one is very nice and it will fit, but it's a bit tricky for me to do up on my own. So that's all that's that. But otherwise, again, very nice. Um, but yeah, I like these beads, and I should be able to. Yeah, I could tighten that one up, no problem. So um, yeah, I, I like these are a win. Very pretty, thank you. Um, the thingy that tells me what's in it. Uh, oh 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 oh. Okay, the recipe cards. Um, Petunia's pudding. That looks so nice. Um, pudding method. Oh, it's a single card. Yeah, just a, a simple pudding that looks amazing. Um, I may have to try that one. So far, I'll be honest, I haven't tried many of these recipes, any of these recipes, but um, just just because of how nice it looks, I'll have to give that one a go. And then, of course, we have sherbet lemon, which I've never made um, hard candy before, so um, that'll be interesting. So yeah, again, it's a single card recipe. I like the, I do like these because yeah, they're a little nerdy, um, but. As I said, um, I, I, I was saying in the other video, sorry, about there's a subtle kind of nerdy and there's like a blatant kind of nerdy, and I, I'm not into the blatant kind of nerdy. I'm like, you know, dude, have a little dignity. Um, so yeah, I like the fact that they are just normal recipes and cakes and biscuits and stuff, or just dinner, that just they've given a slight Harry Potter twist, and I like that. I think that's kind of cute, <laughs> or Wizarding World twist. You know, sort of more tied in. So yeah, that's I like that. And we've got the art piece, which is um, chocolate frogs. And this is the exclusive. <sighs> okay, Honey Duke's chocolate frogs, seventy percent finest croaker, not coca, but croaker. Collect them all, free wizard here. It's like there we go. You want to see it? Seventy percent. Croker, and then the wizarding. And again, this is one of the more simple ones. I like the fact that these art prints have all got different themes. You've got like promotional material, or Newt's notebook, or cast artworks. And the A to Z wench one, which I'm assuming is going to get around. There's people outside, so I'll wrap up soon. Um, but yeah, so two T-shirts this time. But yeah, but this goes definitely goes with the promotional theme. Two t-shirts. Now, was there supposed to be two t-shirts? Because normally it's only one. And yes, the pins are house themed. Include high quality enamel pin, which pictures some of the most useful, most used textbooks in the wizarding world. A one house scarf. You will receive your chosen house. Uh, the socks are this month. These quirky socks are making their way to you. It's funky design. Includes lots of relevant magical items, and they are they are long. They're supposed to be knee high. 
Um, so we got eight pound for the pin, twelve pound for the so twelve pound for a pair of socks. Bloody hell! Next month's box hints: designer win, designer one competition winner. So yeah, like I said, the um, that's going to be, you know, it's like going to be cool. So again, if you are watching this and you entered the designer one contest, good on you. I couldn't come up with any designs, um, and well done to the winner. Um, huh. Okay, am I missing something? Because... That's slightly odd. Um, so the bracelets box collection. Uh, Harry Potter house bracelets. This month you receive one of these fantastic items. Most of you will receive... Oh, okay. A fantastic beaded friendship style bracelet. A lucky 500 of you will receive the lovely four bracelet set, which is right on trend. These are relevant for your chosen houses. Oh! Oh, okay. So it was like... But they've got these funky, you know, beaded house ones. And that's really cool. And I didn't get that one. But it's neither or. So basically... Um, the set that I got was the um, the more exclusive set um, rather than these ones, but these are cool as well. Um, I've actually made something like that. I made um, a keyring, which I don't know where it is to hand right now, and I um, it was like a simple beaded one. So one one arm it was Ravenclaw, the other arm it was Wisdom. And I made one for Adam, which is obviously Hufflepuff and loyalty. Um, okay, so that's a choice. That's six. At seven pounds, so we're already well over the um, box price of, of starting from twenty-five pounds. Although I paid a little less because loyalty bonus. Oh, oh, all right. So I originally looked at this without reading it, thinking, oh, maybe it was one of or one of, of a choice of things. No, no, exclusive Harry Potter. Four print set, fourteen thirty nine. Not one, not two, not three, but four magical prints are included in this month's box. These are all sure to complement any growing Harry Potter print collection. Um, and we've also got Quidditch World Cup, um, Skyving Snack Box, and Advanced Potions. Um, so, yeah, now I can see now there's um, an edge of a different colour. Uh, I'm not gonna. I like keeping these nice because I'm not currently displaying them. I like to keep them all sealed up and nice, so I won't be opening them up to look at all of them. So I'm sorry if you want to have a closer look at them properly, but I will hold up the um, thing so you can see what they will be. Um, so yeah, no, that's cool. That is very cool. So yeah, like I said, you have got like the promotional stuff, and that would make a nice collection on the wall if I had room. And yes, it is supposed to be two T-shirts. Which is unusual. No, there's not normally two T-shirts in the general wizardry one. You still got one, two, three. The recipe cards. One, two, three, four, five plus an extra T-shirt. So yeah, that's about average. Um, show everyone where your allegiance lies with this cool design printed on. Getting a soft style um, T-shirt. This T-shirt is the highest quality. It's not my geek gear. And then the three siblings from the. Famous wizard legend. So yeah. So we were. It wasn't like a weird bonus item that ended up. It was a planned item. And again, ten pound each for the t-shirt. So twenty pounds. Uh, twenty thirty six thirty two. Um, call that seven thirty nine. Uh, call that eight forty forty seven. Uh, fifth. 63. I've done that right. So, obviously, no cards. No cards. So, yeah, um, there is all the items. Um, definitely worth the value of the box. And the YouTuber spotlight this month's featured YouTuber is Castora Magic. And there she is, looking very happy and smiley in her Hufflepuff pride. So, uh, well done, you. Um, look forward to all the extra views. And, um, <laughs> but yeah, no, I, this is a good box. Um, Geek Gear August, so bracelet set, socks. Oh, you know what, sod it, I'll open them up for you. Let's have a look at these socks. 
Um, we also had the two t-shirts. We had the pin. Uh, oh, they are long. They are long. I mean, to, oh, I won't compare them to the ones I'm wearing. Um, like, do I randomly have a pair of socks lying about on the sofa? Who knows? It's my house. Yes. Oh, excuse me. Two seconds. Oh. So. Just to compare, these are a pair of lightning bolt socks I've had in a previous box, which are like the thin ankly type socks, which I do love. And this is why I haven't had because I do wear them a lot. Um, so they're them. And then we have your normal everyday sport sock you know, sort of that you would wear regularly. And it's a nice comfortable length. I wear these a lot because I find them, because I wear um, work boots a lot. I find them very comfortable for me to wear. And then we have these bad boys. Which, um, yeah, basically keep going. <laughs> so like an extra... So basically the entire length of a normal sock plus the foot. Um, so they're going to be really comfortable wear to wear once the winter really kicks in. Um, yeah, no, I, I like these. I like these. So favourite items probably... I do like the bracelet set, even though the, the silver one doesn't fit me properly. Um, and that one's awkward for me to put on my own. But otherwise, it's a, it's a very nice set. Thank you. I love these socks. They are amazing. Pin's very cute. And the t-shirts are awesome. And the recipe cards are going to be a lot of fun to try. So yeah, all in all, this has been a very good box. I like this one with the um, Prevelli. Prevelli? No, am I getting them mixed up with um, the kids in... Um... Mm. Oh, um, Lion Witch in the Wardrobe, the um, Chronicles of Narnia. These are, this is very piratey. I feel very piratey. A bit, bit metal, a bit piratey. Um, yeah, nothing glows in the dark today. Nah, nothing Nothing glows in the dark. Which is a shame, because I think... <clears throat> this one has a lot of potential if it did glow in the dark, but no. And obviously nothing on there glows in the dark. Which is, again, a missed opportunity. Just a random glow in the dark skull would be awesome. Is that supposed to be Harry? I just realised it's in the middle of his forehead. It's supposed to be, that's a bit morbid. Strange. Alrighty then, I'm definitely going into waffle mode. Um, so yes, thank you Geek Gear for an awesome pile of goodies um I'll, I'll probably keep wearing these all day now because i like them um so yes uh thank you if you've been watching and again shout out to hannah who's been looking forward to this box as much as i have um so yeah uh thanks for watching i've been michelle you've been listening and i will see you next time bye